Okay, I will start. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our ACRA 2020 uh, workshop, uh, VTAC, closing, to, uh, closing the perception action loop with vision and tactile sensing. Uh, it's organized by me, um, Nathan, Winjin, and uh, Gordon. Um, so first, first of all, uh, you, here is an overview of what I will cover first. So you will see the workshop logistics and you will uh, see what you will see today and who the organizers are and support of the um, HB RAS technical committees. And first of all, uh, the workshop logistics. So some for, um, first, some memories, good memory. So this is a follow-up workshop of the ACRA 2019 uh, VTAC workshop, VTAC integrating vision and touch for multimodal and uh, cross-modal perception. Here are some pictures from last year's um, VTAC workshop. So here's a group photo we took last year as the end of the workshop. And uh, um, this is the picture we, we took as the plenary discussion. Uh, so that's the final, uh, final one. And uh, we had a lot, a lot of good memories for that workshop. I hope we will have uh, um, some different good memories this year. As you know, this year we are taking the workshop online. So we can't have these physical interactions in one room, in one physical room, um, like the picture show here, but uh, we can uh, have discussions online via Zoom. Uh, for sure, we can't go to a pub together for beer after the workshop, but I hope uh, next year, so we can go to the pub uh, in, uh, after VTAC 2021, okay? So just some history of the VTAC workshop. So for this year, uh, we will focus on combining vision and touch sensing for integrated perception action loop. So like last year, we were focusing on perception itself, how to have multimodal and cross-modal perception. This year, we take actions uh, into consideration as well. So we put them together. We have this perception action loop and uh, we will discuss uh, the fusion of vision and touch in both perception and actions. And here is uh, uh, some logistics of the workshop. So you can find the workshop website here. And uh, you can go there via the ACRA um, conference websites as well. And uh, you, can, uh, you can, obviously we are having our workshop via Zoom. And uh, the time of the workshop will be from nine o'clock to 6.30 uh, um, p.m. All of the times will be in Paris time, remember that, okay? Because we are across the world, um, but we are taking the Paris time, um, this time for ACRA 2020. And so we have uh, the Slack channel. So uh, uh, this workshop 14, our number is 14. So you can go to Slack and uh, uh, you can um, draw discussions there. But because we are having our uh, workshop in Zoom, so we will have um, all of the uh, questions to individual talks in Zoom, in the chat box, and we will collect the questions from Zoom. But you can post your uh, questions on general topics of the workshop. Uh, so for example, what's the trends of the workshop in general? So you can post it in Slack uh, there and uh, we will have a final discussion um, part at the end of the workshop. We will collect the general topics, uh, the general questions in Slack. And also the record, we will record the workshop and uh, as you can see, we are already recording it now. If uh, you don't like yourself being recorded, so you can leave the uh, uh, workshop now, and uh, the recordings of the workshop will be uploaded to our YouTube channel. And uh, all the um, um, registered attendees will receive updates by email. So I will send you how to access the videos, how to access our YouTube channel by email, okay? And here is what you will see today. We have four sessions of talks. So we have nine invited, uh, invited talks so we have uh, six 
25 minute talks. So we have 20 minutes talk and uh, five minute Q and A. And then we have three keynote talks for 40 minutes each. So we have 30 minutes talk and we have five minutes Q and A. And also we, we have talks from the organizers. So 20 minutes uh, talk and five minutes Q and A as well. And also we have accepted uh, six workshop papers and uh, they will present lightning presentations for five minutes. And at the end of our workshop, we will have uh, one around 30 minutes uh, discussion session. So it's like a, a panel discussion, like in the physical uh, workshop. Uh, as I said, um, all the questions to individual talk will be collected in Zoom, but you can post uh, general questions in Slack. And we have three themes for our workshop. So first one is uh, hardware focused, so development of touch sensors for perception action task. And second, we have multimodal robot perception and action using vision and tactile sensing. And third one is uh, more on biological uh, side. So we get the inspiration uh, from how humans integrate vision and haptic information for perception action tasks. Um, so we intended to divide our sessions according to the three same, but because of the obvious reasons, we have these time differences. So we have to spread different talk, uh, so talks of different themes into different, uh, um, in of the same themes uh, into different sessions. Uh, so for the first session, it will be uh, hosted by me and Nathan, and uh, uh, you will, uh, I will give the talk on visual tactile robotic perception and next, we will have a, a talk from Robert Hask from Bitterfield University. And he will talk about how, um, how to control using tactile sensing. So that is uh, tactile serving based uh, uh, manipulation. And then we will have Hua Ping Liu, Liu from Tsinghua University, um, active multimodal perception. And then we have uh, uh, Lorenzo Natelli from IIT, Italy. Um, on from object detection to post estimation using visual and tactile uh, feedback. Um, so these three speakers, they are famous for different aspects of uh, closing um, perception action loops using vision and tactile sensing. So for uh, Robert, he's uh, quite famous for their works in tactile serving. And Hua Ping is famous for his uh, multimodal perception, especially uh, like the uh, sparse coding for multimodal perception. And also for uh, Lorenzo, uh, the, his group has been developing algorithms for visual tactile sensing uh, and uh, perception for humanoid uh, robots. And you will see more details in their talks. In section two, so we, it will be hosted by Nathan and me. Nathan will give a talk on optical tactile sensing with uh, human touch first. And then we have uh, Kaspar Asufer from uh, Queen Mary University of, of London, um, the integrated force tactile uh, sensor of vision touch uh, approach. And then we have a keynote speech from um, Professor Vincent Hayward, um, UPMC, so um, latest results concerning the mechanics of touch. So it's more on biological side, how, to we, how we observe from the human touch. And then we have a lightning presentations. And uh, we have the lunch break. So it's around two hour lunch break, very French. Okay, so we have uh, also it's in Paris time. And after the lunch break, we have uh, the third session hosted by Gordon and uh, Winjen. And uh, uh, Gordon will talk on um, realizing humanoid multimodal closed loop perception action first. And we have another keynote given by Professor Peter Allen from Columbia University. And it's, it, he will talk about um, on how to have general attention learning for uh, robotic uh, uh, perception and action loops. And also we have uh, four more lightning practitioners. In the last session, so we have Wen Zhen, um, and so he will talk, uh, she will talk about connecting touch and vision for object property, property perception. And uh, next we will have Roberto Calandra from Facebook um, um, towards enhanced manipulation from vision and touch. And then we will have a keynote 
uh, from Professor uh, Data Fox from University of Washington and NVIDIA uh, on learning and modeling tasks. And uh, the last talk will be from Alberto Rodriguez at uh, MIT. He will talk about um, tactile driven uh, dexterity um, object localization, manipulation, and assembly. So from these talks, you can see we cover a lot of uh, aspects of vision, tactile sensing, and how to apply vision and tactile sensing in perception action loops. And the workshop is organized by uh, um, me, Nathan, and Wenjin and Gordon. And in each session, it will be hosted by two of us. And so for example, for this one, I will lead uh, the uh, this session and uh, Nathan uh, will co-host this session for automating people and also collecting questions, uh, especially for my first talk. And we appreciate the support from uh, the HP RISE technical committees. So we have the support from uh, haptics, human robot interaction and coordination. We have computer and robot vision and also cognitive um, robotics. We really appreciate uh, their support. And that's the 